How did you find the movie, Mala? I loved it. I really did. I thought it was um, everything, the fantasy world that I had in my head came to life when I watched it tonight. And it was beautiful. It was beautiful. A question that people are asking, when the car drove past and hit you, did it actually hit you? No, no. Health and safety laws prohibit that. <laughs> no, basically, um, the car moves, we stop, and then we rejig, and then I'm on the floor. That's all it is. So it's exactly like you see on the movies, my love, just backstage. Yeah. What was your overall feeling for the movie? My overall feeling, um, I just remember when filming, it was so much fun. We became like a tight little family. So it just reminded me so much of the family that we had being back with it and being back at a happy time. Although the hours were very tough because it was 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. It was night shoots, but no, couldn't have asked for anything more. If I was an audience goer, would you suggest I come and see? Director. Was that the director? Yes, it was. What's the director's name again? It's Mika. I'm sure it's pronounced Mika X. Who do we have? Oh, this is, a, this is Jane. Hello. Now, Jane backstage secured the sensibility, the style and sophistication that every movie should have. Jane, how did you find the movie tonight? I absolutely adored it. It's a definite cut above anything I've seen come out of New Zealand for a very long time. It was interesting that Jane was saying this was like a little kaleidoscope of what it was actually like in the 70s. Quite guttural, quite unique in terms of its fashion sense. But Jane lived there. Are you going? No, I'm not. I'm just going outside for a, a bit of fresh air. Jane's going outside for a bit of fresh air. So in closing, join us, see girl, and experience the wonder.